Good morning, everybody. Orange Jay here with another near reincarnation video. And today, what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at the cash shop in game, see if there's any deals that are actually worth spending. Uh, I know myself, I do like to spend a little bit on my gotcha games. However, I like to spend when I feel like I'm getting some value. So we're going to figure out what the value of kind of like a dollar is in this game based on how many polls you can get for how much money. We're going to look at everything in the premium shop right now. Uh, talk about what I've bought, and then if I would give out any suggestions based on value, let's get to it right now. All right, so let's slide into the uh, into the shop here, and let's look at the premium shop. It's this top one. This is where you can spend your actual real-life dollars, if you want to, on things in the game. Now, when I come check out gotcha game shops these days, the first place I go is the gym shop, or whatever their premium currency shop is, and I see how much it would cost me to buy one tin pole worth of paid currency. And we're going to talk about the difference between paid currency and free currency a little bit too. It's going to be this one right here. $23.99. Basically 24 bucks. But if we click on this, you're actually only getting $29.40 worth of paid, um, paid gems. That's not enough to do a pull on a paid only banner. And that's an important distinction to make. So 24 bucks only gets you almost one poll, which means it's going to be about $25 to get a poll on a paid banner. Now, if you're new and you don't know the difference between what a paid currency and a free currency is, free currency is the stuff you just farm in game, right? You get it from beating the story, from clearing missions, etc. You use that on the banners. You almost never, ever, ever want to use paid currency on a free currency banner. Save your paid currency for special banners that like guarantee you a four star unit or guarantee you multiple four star units. Those banners will come along. Don't come into this paid shop and buy a bunch of paid currency and blow it on free banners. That's a big mistake. Please don't make it. Plus 25 bucks for a free banner poll that doesn't guarantee you anything is throwing your money down the drain. This is like space whale that turns into a space kraken as it devours universes kind of deal. In fact, nothing in this gym shop is really worth buying in my opinion. Nothing. I would just stay away from this completely um, and avoid it. And at least now I feel like we've set the baseline that 25 bucks is going to be about the price of one premium banner pull, one paid currency banner pull. Now, what I look at when I'm thinking about deals is, okay, 25 bucks, 3,000 paid currency. What am I getting with that? That's how I'm going to determine if something is a good deal. Let's start looking at the premium packs. Now, I do want to say the one thing I've bought in this game is there was like a newbie pack that was um, enough paid currency to pull on the initial paid banner that was a one-time thing. It would guarantee you a four-star weapon plus unit. I bought the newbie pack and I pulled on that. It was like 24 bucks. That's all I've spent. So that, that's my experience. Now let's look at these and see if these are worth it. Okay, premium packs. There's a couple cheap ones in here that are worth looking at. The Stamina Recovery Pack, for example, comes with 20, 250 paid gems and Stamina Recovery items. So there's the gems. You're getting some gold, but really not... I mean, 1,000 gold is almost nothing. And then 50 Small Stamina Recovery. Small Stamina Recovery, it's 10 Stamina. So for 2 bucks, you can buy 500 Stamina and you get 250 gems. I would think about buying this sometimes. If I was playing really hard, like I had a day off from doing other stuff, and I really wanted to play this game a lot, maybe I'd come here, buy this for some more stamina so I could play, and I would start saving my paid currency. And after I bought this enough times, or bought this in some other small packs enough times, and a premium banner rolls around, then spending $2 here and there, I can cash in those paid gems on the premium banner. Be careful though, be careful. The game does not differentiate in your total, like let's look up here. Notice I have 2850 total gems. It doesn't say some amount of free and some amount of paid. And if you have, if this says 3000 and you bought this and you have 250 paid in that 3000 and you pull on the regular banner, it'll just use up your free gems. It kind of tells you it's gonna do that before you pull, but let's be real, y'all aren't reading stuff. Right? That's why us YouTubers have a job, because we like read things and tell you about it. I'm kidding a little bit, but it's really easy to accidentally spend your paid currency. So be very careful about that. 
Anyway, I think this is okay. It's two bucks if you really want to go hard on a day. I don't like the character enhancing and weapon enhancing packs. Again, it's the 250 pay gems, but you're getting 25 XL character enhancements and a thousand gold. Ugh, that's not worth it in my opinion. Same thing with the weapon pack. It's 25 XL weapon enhancement. I'd stay away from these. This is really the only one of those cheap ones that I like. There are the $25 ones. Now remember, we've set up the fact that 25 bucks, that's gonna get you a pull on a premium banner. There it is, $25, 3,000 premium currency. All right, so if a paid banner dropped tomorrow and you wanted to pull on it, would this be worth buying? Well, there's enough currency to do it. You get an insignia of skill and 15,000 gold. I think this is at least better than just going to the gym shop. This is a better deal than the $24 gym shop deal because the $24 gym shop deal won't even give you enough currency to pull on a 3,000 cost paid banner. So the character skill enhancing pack and the weapon skill enhancing pack, I would go here or here if you needed 3,000 paid currency and there wasn't some special short-term deal running. Okay, then there's the Weapon Ascension Pack for 80 bucks. 80 bucks is a steep price. You're talking about paying more than the cost of like a regular AAA game at this point. But, gotcha games, I mean, sometimes these are good deals. Let's see. For $80, you're getting 10,000 paid currency. That's three and a third pulls on paid banners, okay? If it's 25 bucks to pull on a paid banner, 25 times three is 75. The math for the paid currency works out pretty good here. What else are you getting? Insignia of quality, black pearl, and if you don't know what a black pearl is, this will ascend one of your four star weapons and 60,000 gold. I think it falls a little short to me. Um, I do think these are very valuable things. Um, and maybe if a premium banner came out and you just, it had like a unit you really wanted to and it guaranteed you that unit every pull and you needed three dupes, okay, maybe. But the only thing in this set that I'm planning on ever buying is probably the Stamina Recovery Pack for two bucks. Um, there's, you can only buy 10 of them. This is probably a refreshes on the first of every month. So it's going to refresh tomorrow. You can only buy 10 of these a month. That's a maximum of $20 a month and it gives you some extra play time. Okay. You know what? That's not terrible. What about the mission packs? Okay. In gotcha games, they like to release these packs that give you bonus rewards as you push through the content. And sometimes they're pretty good rewards. This quest mission pack, 24 bucks. So before I go into this, I would like to see about a paid, you know, maybe just a little short of 3,000 paid currency. Let's see what we're getting. I can tell you, I've, I've checked before and it's not that. Anyway, here's what you're getting. Um, notice it doesn't tell you straight up. It, you're going to have to do a little math here and that's kind of disappointing. So, you're getting free gems for this. Free gems. You're paying money to get the free currency. I already don't like that, but let's continue. Um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... 12, 15, 1800 free gems, plus a, now a bunch of large stamina recovery. So this is kind of nice. Um, they store 100% of your max stamina, so the higher level your account is, the more valuable these are. And you're getting quite a few of those, like a lot of them. So that's kind of nice. Some XL enhancements, but only 20, 10,000 gold, more XL enhancements, more gold. I don't love this, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, you're getting some premium summon tickets, that's cool. And yes, the big prize of this, I guess, is the guaranteed four star. That guaranteed four star um, really ups the value of this pack. I would say this would be worth it if this currency that you were getting was paid currency. That it's free currency kind of turns me off. I'm really, I'm the kind of guy who likes to pull on the paid banners. Like I'm trying to stay as free to play friendly for this account as I can, but I am at least going to be a dolphin, if not a little bit of a whale. I like those premium banners. This will not help you on premium banners at all. It's free currency. Um, same thing with the character enhancement mission packs. As you level up characters, you get stuff. But again, the stuff that you're getting is free currency. And you're only getting 600 of it here. So this is stuff you can farm in game. Yes, this will help you level up your account faster. But that's it. You could also just play the game for a few more days. And it's not like there's a huge rush to have max level characters today. Just play the game a little bit more. Weapon enhancement pack, I feel the same way. Again, you're just not getting any paid currency and you're only getting 600 free. So I would stay away 
from these mission packs. The only one I think is a little bit worth it is the quest mission pack because it comes with the four star guaranteed ticket. Okay, that's my review of the shops, you guys. Now, again, I just want to reiterate, don't buy this stuff. Don't come into the gym. Don't buy from this tab. Don't come into the gym, the gyms tab, and start buying these gyms. You only want paid gyms for paid banners. If the only banners that are available are free banners, like what are available right now, stay away from this. Um, for me, the only pack I'm going to be buying right now from any of these shops is the Stamina Recovery Packs, just so I can play the game more uh, and enjoy myself, because I am enjoying the heck out of this game. Alright, if you like this video, please click that thumbs up button so the YouTube algorithm's like showing it off to all your friends. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Thank you.